Hello everyone and a very warm welcome indeed to another episode of One Man and His Boat. I'm your host Barry and this gorgeous lady behind me is our GM21, the Lindsay B. Now the pair of us will be commercial fishing from Dunbar on the southeast coast of Scotland. If that's something you'd be interested in guys, please follow this channel. Hi there guys and a very warm welcome indeed. Thank you so much for joining us again on another episode of One Man and His Boat. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because that helps the channel immensely, especially on YouTube land. And if you're already a subscriber make sure you've ticked that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Now what's in this episode? Well this episode we've got lots to do, we've got the sandpit to sort out, um, we have the deck to sort out. I want to start getting everything sanded down, uh, another coat of white on, what you see is white, the hatch needs fitted, the deck needs painted because the weather is starting to change. We're now into August and midweek is to get cold, wet and windy, the usual Scottish weather. Now to me that's telltale signs that kind of summer's going, well I'm kind of thinking of changing now so <laughs> we are uh, going to prep for the best, trying to get all the fibreglass work done so it's finito uh, before the weather does really change for the worst. Now as for the console, I can't really do much, uh, that might be another episode down the line but until this welder's been guys, I'm kind of much stuck so that's why the, the actual vlogs have been limited. Uh, but I will think of something to put up, don't you worry. I'm, I'm not going to have such a big gap this time, I, I promise you that. Right, we'll get on with it, shall we?
So guys, I hope you like my idea about the uh, deck grip. This is proper old school. The old fellas used to actually either paint the deck and throw the sand on top of it like what I just did, or they actually mix the sand in with the paint and then they throw the paint on. But paint takes a long time to dry. Not so much in this heat right enough, but however, this is a chemical reaction because it's top coat and the fiberglass will set underneath the sand. It doesn't need air, uh, well, no too much air anyway. Uh, and then it should be fine by tomorrow morning. Now, the rest of what's going to happen on the boat, basically, double check everything tomorrow, maybe get a second coat of the white on the uh, railing side, the actual hatch side, that's done, that's finished, that's its last coat. And uh, yeah, we've got to fit the hatches after that now, but, but I'm going to leave that for another vlog because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I want to go in a little bit more detail instead of saying, ta-da, there's my hatches. <laughs> oh, one thing I was going to say, uh, if you want to do this for yourselves, you can use different types of material. You can use that, um, what they use in the sandblast and the glass and all the rest of it. They can use that if you want it a little bit more chunkier. We didn't have to go as chunky as that because we actually have rubber matting in between the, where the creels go and the deck just to sort of soften the impact on the deck up. So we're no too fussed about a uh, grip on that because obviously we grip for the rubber button anyway or the rubber belting right it's the end of the day for me so I, i'm going to go and get my tea now and i'll catch you all here tomorrow morning morning guys it's the next morning and i'm not a happy teddy bear yesterday afternoon i was able to get the grade done in the sanding and it was meant to be clear skies and lovely all night and today it was meant to be showering Last night we had three hours of torrential rain and the sand's all blooming wet so I don't know what it's going to be like underneath and oh, you ought to see the day we've got absolutely stunning I think the weatherman got it wrong right anyway back on with today's task So what's the moral of this story guys? Never trust the weather man. <laughs> Some of it's not quite set because obviously it can't be... Oh, in fact you've got a dirty lens. I don't, I'll clean you. There you go. Oh you're looking pretty now. And I'm talking about me, no you. <laughs> anyway guys, what's the moral of this story? Don't trust the weather man. If he says it's going to be sunny, expect rain. If it's going to be rainy, expect sun. <laughs> Um, luckily enough, it's a scorchy day of the day. This I'll obviously need to dry before I can put another top coat of the grey on. Uh, but hopefully we'll get that done by this afternoon before more rain comes. And it'll get set, because obviously it's not going to have an extra layer of sand chucked on it. Yeah, not quite. That's one thing about boat building. Never expect it to turn out how you expect it to. There's always some sort of drama happening somewhere along the line. <laughs> but... That's a little drama, it really is, there's nothing to be worried about, we can fix it, so. Right, let's go on with the next task, shall we? Let's check this white. Not too shabby guys, but I will, th I will think I'll give actual stretchers, the ribs, another wee coat. Uh, they're just a little bit more transparent than I'd like, so definitely another coat for that. But as for the engine hatch subframe, well, perfect. That's that finished. So we'll be able to get the blanket suit and then we'll think about fitting the hatches. Oh no, today we're doing the decking, aren't we? <laughs> right, okay, we'll get on painting the deck then. There we go, that's what we'll do. Can... Getting way above my station there. <laughs>
Yeah, I wasn't even up it yet. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there you have it. Quarter of the deck done. Sorry, I can't stop shaking you. <laughs> it's all the effort that I put into these videos. Um, yes, so there we go. I ran out of sand. Yes, I did. Uh, so that's why I could only do quarter of the deck, but it, it should be okay. Uh, I'll be back in 24 hours to sweep it off and then basically start the whole process again. But at this side of the boat, yes. So, three stages I think it'll take to get it all done. Yes, I could stop being a cheapskate and get enough sand to do everything. But hey, money's getting tight now. I mean, how long have we been at this? Two years we've been at this, guys. Two years and we're still building this boat. However, we're getting to the light at the end of the tunnel now. Wow, oh, happy days. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do the usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. 
Turn that notification bell once you have subscribed and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Until your next vlog, my friends, all the very best. Take care now.